All right, guys, what is going on? Glad to make another video. Hope y'all having a fantastic day. I am actually having a pretty good day. We're spending a three day weekend out at our ranch. Y'all already know how it is. We're fixing to do something crazy. Probably gonna do some coyote hunting. I don't know what this video is, so I'm not gonna say it can change like that. So I don't know what we're doing. I know I got a bunch of chickens. Gonna have to set the coyote trap. I'm fixing to have a fantastic time. I hope y'all are ready to have a good time. Gotta check on the people behind me, you know. They're riding the four-wheeler in Kawasaki. We're taking it out here. Uh, yeah, anyways, crazy stuff fixing to happen. We're gonna, uh, The point of this trip is I got a friend with mine, and I just hope he has a fantastic time. I'm fixing to have a fantastic time. Hopefully, you will have a fantastic time. And uh, we're going to do fishing. I don't even know, man. We're going to do a lot of stuff. We're going to do a lot of stuff. But uh, anyways... Hopefully y'all are joining the first part of the video so far. I will see you when we are at the ranch I know I gotta catch a little mouse about this big in my ranch inside the cabin gotta take care of him so far So good. Hopefully y'all enjoying the video. I will see y'all when we are out there All right guys, what is going on? So we are at the house right now I know what I'm gonna make this video into you already know by the title. That's why you clicked on this video Anyways to get back to the video. I'm telling y'all what I bring on my deer hunts because we are actually fixing to go deer hunting this weekend. I was going to go today, this morning, but I decided to make sure I had everything packed and every, I just wanted to, I don't want to rush it, you know what I'm saying? So I got everything ready, I have all, I have my gun that I'm going to show y'all, my, what equipment I carry in my backpack, and then what I wear. And let's get right into it guys. So the gun I bring is a 243 bolt action, it's a beautiful gun, it's a center point scope. And there's the gun and everything. But it's a fantastic scope. And I don't know the full name of the scope. But anyways, with it's a fantastic gun. It doesn't kick very hard, you know. Beautiful gun. You shoot, reload, fire. But this is the gun I use. One more look at it. And then, I always bring a backpack. Always gotta have a backpack. Let me show y'all what I got in my backpack. Now notice, whenever I shake it, you don't hear no clacking or no noise because you don't want to, you don't want that. You don't want to, you don't want when you get out there and you're jogging or anything, you don't, you don't want any of that. You know what I'm saying? So, anyways, what I carry in my bag, I don't usually carry this. But what it is is it's protein, just protein for the deers and everything. Uh, don't usually carry that. I was going out there right now, but I left my backpack. But I do usually carry one extra deer cam with good batteries and a SD card already in it. I always sent scent killer. Love this stuff. This stuff really works. I will leave a link in the description to buy this. I am not sponsored or anything, but this is a fantastic product amazing product guys that's what it looks like I don't know if you can see it um I usually bring this it's called hog wild pink punch it's a it smells like cranberries and I've noticed that deer even eat it because it's just like it's not even like it's not nasty it actually smells really good it smells like blue like raspberry and stuff but I always bring off now you're gonna say well you're, you're gonna say, well, Damien, you don't want the deer to smell you. Well, you also don't want to be going like this and making noise, swatting mosquitoes and stuff. So, you do want to wear this, and then over it, you spray your scent killer. I always bring a rag, you know, some kind of rag. I always bring some kind of rag. What I wear is, I don't have it with me, but I wear a good sweater, and it's camo. I wear a lot of camo. I wear a camo shirt, camo jacket, camo hat. I have a red hat on. I wear a camo hat. A camo face mask, camo gloves, camo. Uh, these are my like, these are my thermal uh short my thermal pants for, and then I, I put my thermal uh pants on which are camo, and then I put, they're kind of like pajamas, and then I put my uh camo pants on, and then I just wear regular boots. 
always make sure you have a flashlight good flashlight this one actually has a a uh, UAV and then a flashlight in the front so always have a flashlight these are those uh, things for the deer cams I always have a grunt call I used to have a doe and a fawn bleat but someone stole it so I've been trying I have like a lot of stuff has gotten stolen over the years guys like right now I, I'm actually saving up for all kinds of stuff that I gotta get again but this is my buck grunt you know you can make it deeper anyways always gotta have some kind of call this is just my track and you know tutorial about like the deer and the animal and everything like that all kinds of pictures of all the animals in Texas just like to have it with me some kind of rope or paracord some kind of like some kind of rope you need that this is like this I don't know why this is in here but this is my boar grunt this is for hogs and stuff <laughs> But that's my boar grunt. I have a knife sharpener. These are 17 HMR. I always have a 17 HMR with me. That's why I'm carrying these. You don't need to carry these though. And most important is dough urine. This is dough urine. All you need to do is it comes in a four ounce bottle. This is four fluid ounces. You take the cap off, sprinkle a little bit the day before you go out. The day before you go out, you sprinkle it. The next day, the buck will be out there. You need this. And then I always have batteries. I have five extra batteries for my flashlight. That's what I carry in my backpack. You're wondering, Damien, why don't you carry a knife? I do carry a knife. It got stolen. It was a freaking amazing knife. It got stolen. So I gotta buy a new knife, but I do always carry my knife set. And y'all seen that with me everywhere. It's that black knife set, the one I did the giveaway. Yeah. Always carry that with me, you know. You gotta have some of that. You gotta have a knife. And I always have a bag. Always have a regular bag. Whew. But that's what I carry with me. Um, let me tell you what else I usually get with me. Anyways, as I was saying, that's what I bring with me. I usually wear a good sweater. Wear a good sweater, guys. It gets cold out there. You're going to be like, well, it's only 50 degrees out there. Yeah, but when you're sitting out there for a long time, it gets cold. You know, your, your fingers get numb. Bring some gloves. Bring a face mask because the deer can see the orange and the tone in your skin. So I like to bring that. Um, I usually like to bring, I don't know if it's in here, but um, I'm buying right now, I'm buying a new hunting blind. It's a ground blind. I usually keep it in the truck with me because I, I've been needing to take it out there. But I'm buying a new one and... Nope, not back there. I haven't gone to pick it up yet. I forgot if I... I have picked up already one, but I'm picking up a new one for my new deer feeder. And I have a surprise at the end of the video. It's... It's unbelievable, guys. So long... I ha Here's a story, guys. Story time for y'all. I've owned this ranch for probably... Coming on five years now, you know. Five years. And this is the first year that I've been getting bucks and does going out during the day. And it's the most exciting thing I've ever felt, guys. I'm so excited. I've worked so hard, put so much time into it. And now I get to hunt. First time. I've gone deer hunting plenty of times. But the first deer that I actually worked hard for. It, if if y'all know what I mean, give me a big thumbs up or tell me down in the comments. It means a lot when you put that hard work in. You know what they're eating. You know what, they, what, ha what habit they're living in. And then you take that buck. You take his life. And... You know what he was eating, you know what he was doing, and you know he was living on your property. It's the most fantastic thing. It's the most best feeling a hunter can have because you know that that deer is nothing, no no steroids or anything like that. Now when you go on another hunt and they're like $3,000 hunts, you don't know what they're eating. You can ask the you can ask the guy. He won't tell you the truth. I mean, he might sometimes, but it's so, and y'all are gonna be the y'all are, are gonna be with me on my first deer hunt, which is gonna be this weekend. I saw an eight point buck on my deer cam yesterday afternoon, and the past four days they've been going out there every morning, every single morning. So that's the that's it just it's it, it means a lot, you know. I I just I'm I'm very happy about that. But gonna show you all the pictures inside and everything. 
I'm gonna get inside so I can warm up my fingers. I can't feel them right now. It's very cold outside, as I said. Um, but that's usually what I carry with me, with a go with my uh, GoPro and all my camera equipment. But that don't count. You don't need that because you're gonna watch this video. But anyways, I wanted to tell y'all I haven't. The reason I didn't go deer hunting this morning is because I wasn't confident in my 243. And when you're not confident in your gun, you need to be confident. You need to take it to the range and you need to shoot a few shots. Shoot one or two shots, and if it's on point, then you don't need. Then you're good. You're ready to, you're good to go. Then, but if you don't feel confident, just take it, shoot it a few times. Get remember what that gun feels like, cause it's been a few. It's been like two years since I've shot that two. No, it's been one year since I shot that 243. And get you gotta remember what it feels like. You don't want no pull shots when you're out there and you got that final moment and you're gonna take that deer. You don't want a pull shot. Take it out there. I'm gonna make a video probably on Saturday. I don't know when it's gonna be posted. I don't know when this video is gonna be posted, but I'm gonna make a video on how to aim out a gun and how to sight in a gun, how to bore sight a gun at 50 yards, at 100 yards. It's gonna be, we're gonna have a good time this year. I told y'all we were gonna go deer hunting. This is opening week, so I could have made a deer video by now, a deer hunting. Let me, let me put my hat backwards so y'all can see me better. I could have made a deer hunting video this morning, but I don't wanna rush anything, you know? I want everything to be perfectly fine and and just everything to be good and, and you know I want it to be ready we gotta go pick up a new deer blind uh, and we're gonna set it up and everything and it's gonna be a cat if I take that deer's life and actually get one it's gonna be a cash clean and cook you know I'm gonna show y'all what I do with the meat and you know if it's a buck then I'm gonna mount it and it's gonna be it's gonna mean a lot guys whenever I walk into my house I'm gonna look at that buck and it's gonna remind me that I've been feeding for all I know I could have been feeding him all those years that he was there but anyways, I'm going to show y'all what is, uh, what's been going in my deer feeder. Hope y'all enjoying the video so far. I love y'all so much, and I appreciate you so much for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. Hope y'all subscribe. If you haven't already subscribed, smash the thumbs up button, and let me know in the comments what you want me to do next. I do want to make a, I do want to make a squirrel catch clean cook. Don't think I'm pushing that off. It's just been raining so much, so I'm going to go in my backyard and see what's going on back there. If there's no squirrels, then I'm not going to make one. I just saw a squirrel right here. You never know, I might make two videos today. There's a nest up there. But anyways, uh, let me go in the backyard, let me check what's going on. Later on tonight, I'm going to show y'all what's going on at my deer feeder. I love y'all once again. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Y'all help me so much. Y'all make me want to make videos. If I wasn't getting views or anything like that, or I wasn't getting comments, y'all's comments mean so much to me, then I wouldn't be making these videos. So please leave a comment. It, it, it's, it means a lot. You know, the smallest comment can mean a lot. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. Tell me what else I should bring. I, I need to know, because I'm not no deer expert. I, I will tell you all that. I am not a deer expert. I'm a dove hunting expert. I'm not no deer expert. I mean, I've shot one deer in my life, but I have gone on plenty of deer hunts. And just because you're going on a deer hunt doesn't mean you need to take a deer. You know, you, you will, when you're in that moment, you will know when you want to take that deer and if you want to or not, okay? But let's get inside and let's see what's going on deer to, on the deer cams.
so as y'all could tell, we have a lot of deers going out there and I'm very excited. That last picture I showed y'all where there were two of them, okay, that night deer was the same deer in the during the day. Uh, and I just, when I saw that picture, I already knew. I went back to my old pictures that was like taken in October. It's already November. Yeah, right? No. Taken in, yeah, taken in October and September. And then his first appearance in the day was this, or no, yesterday afternoon. And then as y'all saw, this morning, I, I, like in the beginning of the video, I told y'all that we can go deer, we could have gone deer hunting, but I didn't want to. The only thing that went out there was a doe, and I didn't want to kill a doe because she's the one that was bringing those deer out there, those bucks. So I'm gonna let her stay out there, let her br keep bringing bucks in, and I'm just gonna go deer hunting tomorrow, blast all kinds of bucks, get some deer meat, get some venison, that's what it's all about is that venison. We're gonna make some sausage, some burgers, some back straps. Dear mercy, I'm so excited. But anyways, hope y'all enjoyed this video. This is the end of the video. I just wanted to show y'all those pictures. I put music on, I hope y'all enjoyed the music. I keep messing up in the last video, man, when I was like, it was all blank and no like music. It's because there was supposed to be music and it didn't, ah, oh, it was just so frustrating when I was editing. It's actually really hard to edit, guys. I mean, I did not know how hard it was, but it's really hard to edit. But anyways, ooh, what time is it? It is 4.53, and sun down here in Texas is 5.38, so, yeah. Anyways, hope y'all enjoyed this video. I love y'all, appreciate you for watching this video and coming along this adventure with me, and I just love you. I don't even know how to say it, guys. But anyways, gonna leave my channel right here, right there. Videos right here. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Love y'all, appreciate y'all. See you on the next adventure. Take life slow and enjoy it because it doesn't last forever.